Trash, human waste, and rodents have infested one LA County neighborhood after residents say RVs moved in and took over their street. On your side's Christine Lazar has been following their fight to get the area cleaned up for years now, and she joins us with the latest development. Last month, the county finally came out and forcibly removed the RVs and cleaned up the streets and sidewalks. But within days, the RVs and the trash that often comes with them were back. An RV pulls away, leaving behind a pile of trash. But it's more than just this littering this residential street in the Florence Firestone neighborhood of unincorporated LA County. We could catch MRSA, we could catch a disease. There's rats running around and it's like, oh my goodness. And the smell is nauseating. One of the RVs across the street has a hose and literally just dumps his waste on the street and then he gets um, the fire hydrant, the water, and he just washes it down. You see too, there's just like flies everywhere. Yeah, I mean, how could there not be? There's the sun's hitting the urine. Homeowners tell us the people living in these RVs steal power too, connecting to power lines with garden tools. One RV caught fire earlier this year. I'm speaking out because I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Ernie Quintero has been sending emails to his county supervisor for three years, complaining about the RVs that have taken over the street outside his home. I get many of those emails too. And two years ago, we profiled his fight to get the area cleaned up. But since then, it has only gotten worse. It took a lot out of me to buy my house, right? A lot of blood, sweat and tears. And for it to just be dilapidated, the street, the way it is, it's very disheartening. Around the corner from his house, even more RVs and even more trash. Quintero says the neighborhood is now a breeding ground for waste. Have you thought of selling your property? I can't. Who's going to buy it? Who's going to buy it with these RVs in the front and their poop and feces in the street? Within hours of us visiting the area, county crews showed up to finally clean up. They used heavy machinery to physically remove vacant RVs and swept up pile after pile of trash, much of it spilling out of the RVs. It took crews two days. The streets were finally clear. But just hours later, the RVs started moving back in. You've been asking for this cleanup for so long. It finally happens, and now they're back. But now we need the follow-up. We need the, the signs. We need, you know, them following up on it. But not just the cleanup is going to shut me up. Residents want no overnight or no RV parking signs put up so parking and law enforcement can tow them away. Earlier this month, Supervisor Holly Mitchell introduced a motion to move parking enforcement from the Sheriff's Department to Public Works. And we showed pictures at the board meeting last week of horrific parking enforcement violations. So we're looking at how we can make um, it more efficient and more effective as a government service. And we think moving it to the Department of Public Works uh, we'll all be better served. But residents like Ernie and Audrey say they've run out of patience. This is 9001. This was 90210. This would not be happening. They feel like their working class neighborhood is a dumping ground. They say, why not just put up the signs that say no RV parking? And if someone parks an RV there, tow it away. That is a logical short term solution. And a part of the problem that we're experiencing in the county is many of our neighboring cities did just that. Creating an even bigger burden in her district, according to Mitchell. She says LA County is now short 500,000 housing units for the current population. This housing crisis didn't occur overnight. It was a slow process that was impacted by COVID, our struggling economy, where we know wages didn't keep pace with inflation and housing construction did not keep pace with need. Supervisor Mitchell did say that Florence Firestone is now under a surveillance program where her staff is monitoring the RV situation as it unfolds. And I just heard from residents that many of the RVs have left again. And so far, the streets are staying mostly trash free. Christine Lazar, KCAL News.